Hello again, Izzy from Digital Goja Showrooms. And today we're going to look at a question that I've seen on a lot of the blogs and customer service questions and YouTube questions out there. Does my camera work with an IR remote? And what is an IR remote? And how can I get it to work with my camera? If this video helps you out, as always, hit me up with a like button underneath. And remember to subscribe to our channel for future sessions, tutorials such as this. And when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Well, the first determining factor if your camera has an IR remote is look in the front where the grip is. Notice right here in the corner, this right here, that's your IR sensor. So on this Rebel T6i, it does have an IR sensor, so it can work with an IR remote. And here I have a very popular Nikon. This one is a D3200. And again, there is your IR remote. So, with both of these, you have an IR remote capability. Here I have a very popular mirrorless camera, zero IR remote. Notice how there's no sensor anywhere on the camera in the front for remote capability with an infrared system. Now the next step is to set your camera up for infrared remote capability. So you have to turn your camera on, and here, for example, on most of the Rebels, you're going to notice that you have this little button which shows a self timer and continuous that's your drive button activate it and you want to switch it over to the one that shows the remote control and you can even set it to two shots or continuous shooting and change the amount of shots you want so you have a lot of options but you set it now it's activated so now I like to work with a universal remote. This one happens to be the Altura version, nice and small and compact, but it comes in many different sizes. Here's a dedicated remote, and this one has a lot of other features where you even have telephoto and wide zooming if you have that capability on your camera. Now with this one, I can go ahead and fire off the camera, and it is line of sight, so I have to be in front of it or at an angle. I can't be completely behind, well, even though from the top you can see that it still works but remember this infrared beam from your remote has to see the sensor infrared on your camera and the same thing here's a Nikon version this one is a D3200 so we're going to set the camera up for it there's their setting click on it there and scroll down to there you go you have your quick infrared remote setting so now Again, with this guy, since it's universal, all I have to do is press this little button here and it'll fire off the camera. See? You have this capability with cameras that have infrared remotes. On this mirrorless version here, this guy is pretty much set up to work with Wi-Fi only. So you don't have an infrared port dedicated to that capability on the camera. So always look at your particular camera and always try to look for this little infrared port it's usually on your grip happy shooting